Hey, you guys. So, it's your girl, Cheetah Mama. This is very untraditional. Um, but I thought that I should make a video. It's been a really, really long time. I miss you guys. I miss talking to you guys. Oh, my God. Life has been so great and so good. And everything is positive and vibrant and working out. And, oh, my God. So, you know, I was going through a lot at one point. And you definitely will get a story time about it, okay? But I was going through a lot at one point, and, you know, um, when I go through a lot, I start to pray a lot. Um, I'm a Christian. So I start to pray, like, a lot. Like, I'll pray, like, every single day, like, about the situation or whatever. Um, sometimes I'll start looking at horoscopes, but I found it better to just listen to more positive um, affirmations. So I've been listening to a man called Dwayne Wright. I mean, Wayne Wright. Oh my God, I'm not saying it right. Anyways, I listen to him out all the time. I listen to Abraham Hicks, which these people are on a whole different wavelength. They're so positive. They're so free. And they tell you how to get there. They teach you how to get there. They explain to you every step of the way on how to get there. So one thing that I've noticed, first of all, I want to say happy new years and oh my god i wish nothing but the best for you this new year your new year is going to be so abundant and so positive and so freeing and so you're gonna get everything you want this year okay believe it so anyhow so i just wanted to kind of just have like a brief summary of everything so i i have a job i work um and okay so when I wake up in the mornings, I make a conscious effort to meditate. I go on YouTube, put five minute meditation, and I meditate for about five minutes. Um, then I'll do like a light workout. I'll go on YouTube, put 10 minute, five minute, 20 minute workout, whatever I feel like doing. But honestly, that really in the morning, I just want to get myself going. I'm not necessarily trying to lose weight. I just want to be active and on a higher vibration. Um, whenever I work out or, you know, whenever you work out, you feel good afterwards. Like you be like, who the heck? Like you'd be so happy. Like you'd be in a whole different wavelength. So that's how I have been. So I like to do that in the mornings because it makes me feel free and I feel so happy and I walk into work and I'm like, good morning. <laughs> like, you know, and I'm happy at work and I have a good day at work and I don't have anything to complain about. Right. So I do that. Um, I'll write down like something positive, like or positive things or what I want to do that day. Sometimes I'll map out what I'm going to do that day. Um, meditate, work out. And sometimes I'll do a light prayer too. Um, sometimes I'll listen to positive affirmations or just like these, um, positive gurus that talk about loving yourself and, you know, um, spreading positivity and, thinking only positive not thinking negative right and you listen to these guru these guru gurus and they put you in such a up here level and oh my god like it has changed my life it really really has just being positive and just like willing things and trying hard not to dwell on things especially negative trying to constantly rewire your mind to think positive and to do positive when i say that has changed my life so many great things have happened miracles have happened just doing this so um you don't have to believe me try it yourself so um i have a journal and i write in that journal when i can remember and i put I have one journal that's a gratitude journal and I write down just everything that I'm thankful for. And sometimes I write down like things that I want to come true, you know, things in my life that I want to happen for me. Um, I have a shoe box. Okay. And I learned this from a lady at the airport. She was just like, oh, you're a Christian. I was like, yeah. And she's like, you know, you should get a shoe box and put some positive things in that shoe box and put everything, put, you know, your little notes in the shoe box that are positive and things that you want to do and accomplish. Put it in that shoe box and watch what happens. Anyways, I kid you not, this positive thing has been so inspiring and so great. And every day is great. And every day I'm more and more thankful. And every day it gets easier because now, like, when I catch myself thinking negatively, I start to like, go, well, okay, I need to start thinking of positive. I need to try to get rid of this thought. This thought's not going to help me. 
And hey, when you are in a high vibration, when you are your most positive self, people see God in you. And not only that, you feel God in you. You feel God in you. You feel great. You feel amazing. And when something happens that is, you know, not part of your plan, not part of, you know, what's going to make you happy, when you learn to reshift it into something more positive, I'm telling you, like, you know, it it's hard. But once you get the hang of it, I think that it gets better. Anyways, so this message is to tell you it's a new year. Be a new you. Be better than what you were before. You know, write down some goals, set some resolutions, and really stick to your resolutions. Really stick to them. Listen to positive things. Don't let negativity be in your life. Don't let people who are negatively influence you, influencing you stay in your life. You know, be happy, be free, be loving, be caring, and just focus on what's good. Focus on the present. Focus on what you're doing in that moment. Concentrate on what you're doing in that moment. So if you're watching TV, watch TV. Don't be thinking, because our minds, I think I was looking up, we think like 60,000 times a day or something like that. It's a lot of thoughts that come into our mind, but which ones are positive? You know, there's times when I think and I'm like, oh my God, you know, which ones is positive? You know, like, oh my God, I can only count in a hand, <laughs> you know, so be conscious and you will see the good things will happen to you. And the thing is too, once you put that you want something out to God in your prayers, to the universe, um, I feel like God and universe are one and same. Let me just put that out there. So whenever they're like, oh, you know, like, you know, um, concentrate on what the universe wants for you. I feel like God is the universe. God is everything. God created everything. That's just my own belief. Um, but anyways, back to it. So put it out there. Let the universe, you know, um, take care of it. Don't keep you know, thinking and thinking about it, like just stay in that moment and stay positive in that moment and think about what you're doing in that moment, everything that you love about that moment. And every single day, think about what you're doing that day in that moment. Don't think about what happened in your past. You know what I mean? We're not in our past right now. We're in our present. We want our present to be the best present it can possibly be. The best, you know, moment it could possibly be. So think about your presence. You know, where you're at right now, what you're doing in that moment. And really put all your energy and channel it into what you're doing in that moment. Don't think about the future either. Don't be like, oh my God, you know, like... I'm not saying, like, don't think about important things. Like, you have a bill to pay tomorrow or it's going to get cut off. But don't think about, like... Don't focus too heavily on the future. Once you write it down, once you pronounce it to the universe, the universe and God have no... They have no choice but to give it to you. God has blessed us so much and wants us to realize that in this life, in this time, in this world, that he's always with us. And he wants nothing but the best for us. And the thing is that we don't understand that we're our worst critics at times. We're our worst enemy at times. And when we think on the negative, we create more negative. When I say that I would think a negative thought and I'll just be like thinking about a negative thought and then another negative thought will come, then another negative thought, then another another negative thought. That's the law of attraction. When you think of a negative thing, it's attracting more negative. When you think of something positive, it attracts more positive. And the thing too is like, um, something I was learning is that um, when you are tracking in that negative, I mean, energy is not just destroyed. You have to rechannel that energy into something else. So like, you know, um, if you have all these negative thoughts coming, you're going to have to rechannel it somewhere else. Channel it in some other way. Go work out. Take a walk. Do a breathing exercise. You know, um, we're stronger than we know. You know, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate, but that we are more, we are powerful, more powerful than we think we are. I have to leave that um, that poem in the um, description box. But oh my God, you guys. You can do it. This is a new year. Stay strong. Make your goals. Stick to them. Make a plan. Stick to it. Follow a morning routine that's going to get you in the best mood so that all day you can focus on that good feeling. And when you mess up, 
you just simply, you know, take a five minute break, do a breathing exercise, think about nothing or think about positive things and rechannel that energy. Come on, we got to do better, you guys. We can all be millionaires. God never said that there is a limit on abundance in this world. There is no limit on abundance and there's no limit on what you can have in this world. The thing is, he said, knock and the door will open. Seek and you shall find. That's why whenever you even seek for negative things, like people go, oh, this person, you know, messing around on me or whatever, and they're seeking that type of energy, they find it. They said, don't go looking in their phone. You're going to find what you're looking for. The law of attraction is always working, whether we want it to or not, rather we believe in it or not. And just practice some positive, you know, um, some positive routines and May put in the description box how that's helped you. Let's make a beautiful future for not just us, but for the kids and the kids' kids. Let's make this world a better place. It starts with you, and it starts with you believing that you deserve nothing but the best in this world and that God allows for you to have nothing but the best in this world.